Hi, I'm Heather at the Museum of Natural History. We're still on lockdown, so the museum's closed right now, but we still have animals inside that need to be looked after, and that's why I'm here today. And I thought I'd take you along to kind of show you what I do for animal care and what it's like to work inside the museum when it's closed. All right, come on. So you can see that the museum is really quiet. Normally around this time, uh, we'd be getting ready to open, visitors would be coming in, staff would be buzzing around, doing different things. Right now, it's completely quiet. No, there's no one here. I can do whatever I want. I can press the buttons. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Let's get to work. All right, so let's look at what we have to do today. So we have to mist and check the tanks. So we're gonna check all the tanks, make sure everyone's doing okay. And then we're gonna give uh, most of the tanks a little mist, like especially the ones with the amphibians in them. We have to feed the bullfrogs. We're gonna feed all the other frogs. So the green frogs, the mink frog, wood frog, and the American toad. Uh, we have to feed the green neck snake. We are also gonna check the honeybees and see how they're doing, and we're gonna feed them as well. Um, we have to change the water in the frog tank. Uh, we're going to feed the turtles. And then at the very last, we're going to take us for a walk. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wash my hands. So I don't want to transmit any diseases from tank to tank. And you know, washing your hands is always a good idea. So with animal care, we always spend a lot of time washing our hands. So I have my cart all ready to go. I have my fresh water right here to change the water in the water dishes. I have my mister right there. Um, I also have some sugar water for the bees. And then I also have some mice for the bullfrogs so and i have some fish for the turtles um, i have a container here for my dirty water and i have my paper towel and then down here i have a container for dirty paper towel and then i have the other food here and my tongs and scissors and everything i'm going to need to feed everything so i have my crickets worms and some lettuce down here and a stool because I am short. All right, we're all set, so let's head out. All right, it's time to feed the bullfrog. So like I mentioned before, they're going to get a mouse. So they only get a mouse once a month, and then for the rest of the month, they get snacks. So these guys eat anything they can fit in their mouth. So including other frogs. So they're the biggest frog we have here in Nova Scotia. All right, let's see if they're hungry. There we go. So next, we're, I'm gonna check out the beehive. So I'm just gonna look to see um, what the bees are up to today. And uh, they are really active. Um, so I'm gonna look at how much food they have in the hive. I'm gonna look at um, how much brood is there. Um, and also anything else going on in the hive. So I'm just gonna take a look, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take a look at the hive. So I can see all those covered cells are brood. So that's the pupae developing there. Um, bees are super active today. And you can see more brood down here. The shiny cells um, have nectar in them. 
don't see any pollen right now, but I know there's pollen in the hive. So lots of activity. I've seen some drone bees in the hive. Those are the male bees. So I'm just going to take a look to see if I can find the queen and see what she's up to today. All right, so I have found her. She's right here and she's I think she's gonna lay an egg here, just a second. All the worker bees are around her, tending her, and that's a good thing. So that they still like her. Yeah, she's laying eggs. All right, so the queen's in the hive and she seems to be doing well, so that's good. All right, so I'm just gonna, oh, there she goes. She's laying an egg. So another thing I check is the feeder, and we can see right here that they have no sugar water. So I'm gonna put some sugar water in this feeder. All right, you can see the feeder is all full of sugar water, and they're in there taking a drink. I can see anyone. All right, let's move on. we have to feed this ringneck snake. So this ringneck snake has been with us since uh, 2012. It was hatched right here at the museum. I don't know if you can see, you'll be able to see when I go closer, you can see the ring around his neck. So these guys only eat red back salamanders. So that's what I'm gonna feed them. All right, All right let's see if he's hungry. Find it. There we go. There we go. So he's going to take that down. He's going to swallow that salamander whole. So you don't usually get to see ringneck snakes. So you can see the ring around his neck, and that gives him his name. And he's got a beautiful orange belly, too. So you don't usually see these guys because they usually hide during the day. And you usually find them under things. Oh, he's taking them from the middle. So this salamander was not alive. It was uh, frozen. I dethawed it. So <laughs> taking it down the hard way. He usually grabs it by the head and takes it down that way and it usually slips down his throat. And there we go. Now I'm all set up to do a partial frog, which means I'm gonna take all the dirty water out of the tank and put clean water in. Now I'm not gonna take the frogs out of the tank. I'm gonna to try to sneak the water out. I find this is uh, less stress to the frogs so I don't have to go in and catch them all, which is kind of stressful for them. So I'll, I'll be able to just sneak the water out and put new water in. All right, here we go. clean of the frogs is finished. I hope I have some happy frogs. All right, what's next?
So the lab's a little bit of a mess right now. Uh, uh, I guess I better clean it up. Now, that's much better. So, after doing all that work, I now have to record it all in this binder so that we have a record of what animal care we did today. All right, I'm gonna get to it then. So, that was a full day of animal care and I'm gonna end my day outside in the backyard with Gus, uh, eating some grass. Oh wait, no, I'm not gonna eat grass. Gus is gonna eat grass. We're just gonna sit out here and enjoy the afternoon, listen to the horse lesson across the street. Um, thank you very much for coming along with me on my day. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.